Yo, heroes, this is James. I want you to pay attention to this right here. Let's look at it. How do we combat the enabling lies of, you know, America is at stake, the church is at stake, our children are at stake. Someone just tweeted me after one of my tweets yesterday and said, well, what are you going to say uh, when, when conservative Christians start losing their children? And I just replied to him and said, to what, rock and roll? I mean, what's the thing that's going to come and take our children? I, and he never, like, help me out here, fella. I don't, is it the, the, the child snatcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Now, if you don't know who this is, this is Phil Vischer. Um, you know him more as, I think it's Bob the Tomato. I have a whole lot to say, but we just about to get into it. Hello, bros. It's time for the hero stuff, bro. So... What's up, everybody? This is James Hall from Steering, Steering, Restoring Heroes Project. Look, I got the whole lot to say in a little bit of time, but I need you to keep your ears peeled and your eyes open. I believe you can do this. Look, the reason why I brought that up, like that, that clip really bothered me. It's from Woke Preacher Clips. Woke Preacher Clips. Um, YouTube is a YouTube channel, Woke Preacher Clips, but it's also a Twitter. Now I was on my Twitter, and that was a video that stood out to me, and uh, he explains in that is um the reason that's the reason why he goes so hard against uh phil vischer and the reason why he's laughing making light of christians being upset about the way things are going in the world um and jeremiah it talks about jeremiah 6 14 it talks about um uh, when the impending disaster for Jerusalem. So it is a prophet. Jeremiah was talking, was prophesying about the disaster that's coming. Right. And there were other people talking about it. And uh, God says in, in his word, they have healed the wounds of my people lightly saying peace, peace, where there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they committed this abomination or committed abomination? No, they were uh, they were not at all ashamed. They did not know how to blush. So you see in this clip, I'm going to show you again, just looking at them. There's a, a, a gang of people I think is on this podcast, right? So in this clip, you see um, them laughing and joking about Christians being concerned about the way things are going and how it can impact uh, their their children how it can impact their children so they were they were really truly upset and what does phil vischer in the the peanut gallery do or um the, the vegetable group do what they, they laugh they laugh at it they say no nah, no nah, it's not that big of a deal what what's gonna happen the the children snatcher gonna come what's gonna happen you're gonna lose them to rock and roll trying to play it lightly like the world isn't going after your children like the world isn't trying to convert your children they made a whole song about it remember they made a whole song we'll convert your children um it happens bit by bit quietly and suddenly like that there is it's a song about it the the lgbt is is coming for your your children uh the, the last video i showed you it was um you see the 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 hands of the lgbt movement trying to infiltrate the public schools and i said the best way to combat this is through homeschooling or private Christian schools, right? That's the best way to combat this. But Phil Vischer, Phil Vischer and his, in his, in his gang, they think it's funny. They laugh. They laugh at Christians. Listen again. They laugh at Christians. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Lies of, you know, America is at stake. The church is at stake. Our children are at stake. Someone just tweeted me after one of my tweets yesterday and said, well, what are you going to say? Uh, when when conservative Christians start losing their children. And I just replied to him and said, to what, rock and roll? I mean, what's the thing that's going to come and take our children? You see, he cries, peace, peace, where there is no peace. But what, 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 what the lie that says the, the church is at stake, the lie that says the family is at stake, the lie that says our children is at stake, the lie that says... 
those things aren't at stake. They're, those things aren't a problem. Those things, those things are not in battle. Those things are not at stake if we don't stand up and have biblical virtues. Is that what you're saying, saying Phil Vischer? Vischer? I mispronounced your name. Is that what you're saying, Phil? Is that what you're saying, Bob the Tomato? I mean, are you saying that there is no battle to be fought? Are you saying we don't actually wrestle against wrestle against powers and principalities in high places? Are you? Is this what you're saying? Is it? Is it laughable? I mean, are you really? Are you really taking lightly the wounds and saying peace, peace where there is no peace? Why? Why are you doing this? And it says in Isaiah chapter four, actually Isaiah chapter five, verse twenty. It says, "Woe to those." Woe to those who call good, who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. He's actually causing sweet for bitter. He's saying that people being aware, a hyper aware people on the watchtowers looking down and saying, hey, this is something's wrong. Something's going on. It's actually a bad thing and it's laughable because there's peace. There's nothing, there's nothing going on. There's nothing really going on, right? It's just peace. Nothing but peace. Everything's fine. Don't, don't look like, don't look behind the curtain at all. Everything's fine. Don't look at the, the drag queen behind the curtain. Do not make eye contact with that person because everything's fine. That's a real man. I mean, that's a real woman. Uh, don't pay attention to the, the man who's winning all the collegiate swimming, uh, swimming things. Don't pay attention to him. Um, because that's a real woman. Don't pay attention to that as peace. No big deal. Don't pay attention to um, uh, Nick Jr. doing things on Blues Clues and, and having uh, gay parades and, and things like that on the Blues Clues show on on uh, on on in July, in June. Right. When you have Pride Month, don't pay no attention to that. That's not going to mess up your children. Don't pay any attention to what that bill says. And don't say gay bill is not a don't say gay bill. It's a bill saying that you cannot. You cannot teach uh, human sexuality at the ages of kindergarten to third grade of any kind. You cannot do that at all. But, you know, there, there's just peace. Don't, they're not really coming for your children. There's nothing really to worry about. There's nothing really to worry about, right, Phil? Right? There's nothing, nothing really to worry about. So what does this have to do with biblical manhood? Look, these men are dangerous men that refuse to fight men that refuse to stand men that refuse to take responsibility for their ch their children their communities their churches men that refuse to get into the battle are effeminate men and there's a rise in eff effeminate men so you have and i'm not talking about the the um the limp wristedness no i'm talking about men that refuses to take responsibility for what God has told him to take responsibility for. And uh, I'm not calling Phil effeminate, but I'm not calling him masculine either. I'm not calling him manly because he laughed it off. He laughed off the, uh, the, the war that we're in, you know, because it's peace. What's going, what's going to mess him up? Rock and roll. Come on, man. So you don't understand what he's saying. So you don't un understand what he's saying. It's like a little weaselly, serpent talk words like that you don't you don't get what he's saying oh you're trying to get a laugh from 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 all these these girls and these guys right you're trying to get a laugh from them you're trying to get a laugh from those guys you're right you're trying to get you're trying to get her to laugh and him to laugh and her to laugh because you know they all love you because you you you're a bob the tomato you know you're bob you're a league of incredible vegetables right here right right you know, God is bigger than the, the boogeyman, right? But you want to get her to laugh and her to laugh and him to laugh and him to laugh. So that's, you got to, you got to say peace, peace where there is no peace. For what reason? Just to be weaselly, I guess. And there's a, there's a, there's a push for this type of, um, this type of, of man, this type of, this type of man is being pushed in the forefront or is being allowed to 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 have power and to have prestige and things like that, because this man doesn't rock the boat. But Christian men, we follow Christ and Christ rocked the boat. 
I mean, he really did turn the world upside down. He really did. And he and he also empowered other men to turn the world upside down. Twelve men, eleven, and then he replaced them, right? Twelve men changed the whole world. And not because they said peace, peace, where there is no peace. It's because they saw where they needed to fight and they stood there and they fought. And they stood there and they fought. And that's that's really all I got to say about that today. It is something I wanted to get off my off my chest. Um, There's some videos coming up. There's um, if you want to, you can click the video coming up talking about will convert your children. So, you know, I'm not joking. And there's another video coming up about um, up on the side that talks about how you should, you know, the best solution to avoid certain things is to homeschool your children. And um, I'll see you next video. Bye.